Meanwhile, Waco ISD held an emergency meeting this evening to discuss some commonly asked questions and give clarity to students and staff on what is going on during this confusing time. Nikki Latarulo was there and breaks it all down for us. Here's Nikki. This is my 30, uh, 30th year in education. I've never seen anything like this happen. The Waco ISD Board of Trustees met in emergency fashion to shed light on their plan for employees and students during the two week school closure due to the coronavirus. Our main goal is to make sure our kids and families are safe and our employees feel secure. The meeting made it clear that all WISD staff will continue to be paid on time and receive their normal paychecks. Our employees, I believe, will really appreciate the certainty that you've given them tonight, that they'll be able to be paid without delay throughout the school closures. And many parents were concerned that students would have to make up these missed school days, but that is not the case. The TEA did grant a waiver for both this week and next week. And starting Monday, parents will be given tools to teach their kids at home. We'll be sending home uh, bags by grade levels with paperback books books and writing journals and other activities so that our students will continue their learning at home. And if parents are having a hard time with teaching the materials, resources will be available to assist them. And we'll give them a list of places that they can go for instructional support. As far as graduation goes, WISD seniors will be able to complete all the requirements, whether they are in the classroom or at home, but the ceremony is still questionable as of right now. Graduation is an unknown at this time. We'll continue to follow um, the events that are unfolding rather rapidly. Everyone knows that's a decision that will have to be made in the future should we um, be out of school any longer. And that was Nikki Latarulo reporting for us. Now, the WISD Board of Trustees will not meet again until April. They said that they will call more emergency meetings if indeed they are needed.